Hi, I'm Elvi Valovirta and on this video I'm gonna show you how to use a delay pedal in different uh, situations and in different uh, places in your signal chain to achieve different delay sounds. So, yes, <clears throat> like with all pedals and effects, the sound changes or could change quite drastically depending where you put that effect in your signal chain. Whether it's before preamp section, a clean preamp or a distorted preamp, or whether it's in the effect loop of an amplifier or after a preamp like pedal. I'm gonna show you a few handy experiences. Uh, the gear now is uh, ESP George Lynch Kamigaze where I've uh, changed uh, EMG X series pickups. It is 81X and this is SAA, SAX single coil. I think th these are just uh, 81 with a little bit not that aggressive version of 81 pickup. Uh, Fryet amplifier, Fryet CX amplifier and a uh, Friedman BEOD preamp distortion amp like pedal and uh, ISP decimator just cut off the his from the Friedman and then a bus DD7 digital delay. So the clean sound is like this. Okay, so you could use a delay in front of the amp into a clean channel. It will work smoothly and fine. create this nice echoing space. Uh, then if you use a uh, preamp pedal into a clean channel of the amplifier, you must put the delay into achieve that lush sound, you must put the delay after the overdriven preamp section. So. without the delay. So on, okay? If you want to create nice space, it has to be after the distorted sound. Give that, well, in this case, Van Halen style, uh, big sound. Okay, 
what would happen if the delay would be before your distort section, before the distorted preamp uh, section on your single chain? Uh, I'm gonna show you. Let's uh, put the Freeman and the delay off and then let's switch into the uh, lead channel, which is overdrawn in this case. So now what is happening, because what I just did, uh, the preamp, the delay was after the preamp. And now what's happening, the delay is before the preamp, because now we're using the amplifiers preamp section to create the distortion. So what will happen is that the delayed signal will hit the preamp section. So without delay. And when we hit the delay so that the delay goes, the amplifier gets the delayed signal. It sounds like. Yes. <laughs> so this is quite uh, unuseful. It could be useful if you're looking for this kind of really distinctive delay, like uh, let's say. <laughs> But it's uh, only, well, you heard it. You, you really can't have it like to create the. It will just sound like shite. So if, if uh, let me demonstrate one, when it's after the preamp gain. It's much smoother. Okay, so let's say you don't have a distortion preamp pedal. You are creating uh, the your overdriven, your distorted sound with your amplifier. So what you need to do then is you need to have the delay after the amplifier's overdriven preamp section. And the way you do it, if the amp has an effect loop, then you put the delay in the effect loop. If it doesn't have, like old Marshalls, then you're kind of like, okay, then <laughs> you maybe don't use a delay, or you find some other ways, like, uh, set the amp to clean so that the delay hits the clean preamp that's that will work fine like i showed you and then you make the overdrive happening with a preamp like distortion pedal okay let's uh, put the delay into the effect loop now so it's after the overdriven preamp section just a second so now I've put it, the delay into the effect loop of an amp. So it's after the preamp, but before the power amp section. So uh, without the delay, it sounds like this. Okay, and when I hit the delay,
so now it's smooth it creates a nice ambient tone so this is the way I, I use it if I, if I use uh, amplifiers distortion to create uh, the the overdrive then I the distortion then I, I have it in the effect loop and I usually use it like well on you know playing some 80s stuff or or usually I, I hit the delay on for for, for leads. <laughs> So you have a nice delay. <clears throat> so, uh, one more time. If you don't use an effect loop and you want to have that kind of conventional delay sound, not the heavy one which makes everything sound total mess, you need to put it you need to use your amplifier's clean channel so that the delay hits the clean channel. And then you have to use a distortion pedal before the delay to create your distortion sound. So the delay needs to be always after a, an overdriven preamp, whether it's amplifier's preamp or preamp pedal. If you put the delay before a distorted preamp, well, you heard it, it sounds like shit to me, because then the delay hits the amplifier, so the amplifier gets the delay sound and it goes completely crazy. If you use amplifiers preamp to create your distorted sound, then you need to put the delay in the effect loop, so again, it's after the distorted preamp. Okay, hey, hopefully this was informative and helpful. If you like this, please thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, take care. Bye.